Welcome back to the Doobie Podcast, your TV movie entertainment needs podcast. I am your host, James, and sitting with me today is my co-host and a resident comic expert, Con. How's your beautiful face looking? How's your looking beautiful face doing? <laughs> it's really doing good. Great. And sitting with us today is our resident hater, Cameron. I almost killed somebody yesterday. You really? Was it out of, was it out I, came, of... I came pretty close. I, I I I had I had some serious thoughts about it. Was it someone at work or was it someone Rebel at the bar? Moon. It was someone at work. So basically, uh Rebel Moon. <laughs> for uh for for listeners who do not know, I am a bartender. Mm. Um and last night I had a customer come in and order one shot. And I was like, okay, do you want to start a tab or close out? And then they were like uh no, I need to uh I'm going to get one more. And I was like, okay, what do you want? And they were like, I don't know. For context, we were really busy. And if I just moved on to the next person, that person could just run off. Yeah, and because they didn't pay. Yeah. Yeah. So I am essentially tethered to this one person, and I'm just like standing there just looking at them just, just watching them look through the menu taking their sweet time he was looking through a menu for another shot or a drink uh-huh. another shot oh. um and uh about three four five minutes later they're like okay i'll have this one so i make it in like 30 seconds because i'm good at my job <laughs> um, if it takes uh, you longer than thirty seconds to pour a shot, yeah, I feel like you have to um, take take a train. Well, well, we we like mix things. Oh, like, I thought you'd like Tom Cruise and the thing where he's like catching the uh, bottles and that was that movie cocktail. Uh, cocktail. Yeah. Which, side note, uh, my boss, if anyone ever brings up cocktail, he knows they're going to be a terrible bartender. <laughs> That's um, a pretty good benchmark. Because they all just want to be Tom Cruise in that. We, and well, to a degree, scene? would it be Tom Cruise? What about Fair that point. scene in Uncharted when Tom Holland was doing that? <laughs> oh, less even so. worse. <laughs> They're not even going to be hired. No interview. Just gone. Yeah, yeah. So I make them their shot. I make them their shot. I go back and I'm like, okay, your total will be 850. And they're like, okay. Two shots, 850. That's not bad. It, well, yeah, it's a college town. Yeah. Um, and then they're like, do you have tap for like Apple Pay? And I was like, yes. They proceed to take another four to five minutes. My God. Just get their card on their phone ready. I was losing my mind. I was about to vault over the bar <laughs> and just take their phone. My God. Like, <laughs> How do you anyway. how do you not go into this is so off topic? Welcome to the podcast. I don't know how you go into a bar not expecting at least two things you want to get. Yeah. Like just the uh, understanding. Like if you want a shot, yeah. you don't need to know the name. Just say vodka. I'm with a game plan. When you walk, like say yeah. you're at a fast food restaurant, it's packed. When you're in line, think about what you're gonna order. Don't get up to the register and be like, oh it's like that Patrick, it's like the, the scene of Spider yeah. where Patrick's just looking at the menu. Yeah. So oh, God. Uh, all right. Well, well I, made, I made good money last night. We hey, were congrats. It's, it's graduation season. People will want to tip you more. They're happy. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> that is very true. This part of this, this part of the year is both when people are either stressed out of their mind or they're happy as hell. I am yeah. the former. Yeah. Uh, Colin, you had something you wanted to talk about on the podcast that recently came out that was pretty big, about 26 million views big. The Deadpool Wolverine official trailer. That pull him over an official trailer. He's finally sleeveless, boys. Dude, it looked so good. It was so. I wish you kept the shoulder pads. <laughs> like, okay, let me. Let, I want to start with that. So, I get the argument of wanting no sleeves because that's the comic accurate. We finally get Wolverine at his highest form. It's literally beautiful. Do I think if the shoulder pad stayed, it would have been more accurate? Probably, but I, I'm happy that he has no sleeves. That's just me. I'm happy he's just in the yellow suit. It's just mm. the only thing, the only thing though that they still didn't show that would be peak Wolverine is the mask. The mask. We've seen the mask in uh 
uh, oh, yeah. promotional art, yeah. you know, from those cups or all mm-hmm. those other like, you know, leaked stuff. Those shirts as well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, shirts. Now the yeah. question is, did they digitally remove it or are they going to do like digital mask or a real mask? I think it's going to be a CGI mask and I don't want it to be, but. Do you think it's going to be like Thor Love and Thunder when he comes back and uh, he's got that golden one? I hope it's not, but I think it's, yeah. Yeah, see, I, I don't think the mask will be long, will be on for more than 30 seconds. I don't think it's going to be on for that long. I think you're going to see Wolverine in the middle of something. He's going to have the mask. Something's going to happen. He's going to take it off, and then it's off the rest of the day. I mean, it could be like a third act battle or like even like even like that, Uh, um, you know, when he first gets the costume and he's wearing the mask, it's just, you know, it's like, you know, he wears it and he's like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to wear this mask. Well, Cause you, you know, that's also a good point. Cause I, 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 I have watched the trailer a stupid amount of times this week. Yeah. I, it's I mean, like a prayer has been in my head since I think it came out Monday, Monday. It's been in my head all week. Uh, I, I, I don't, so I've been trying to piece more and more of this trailer together compared to the last one. If you guys haven't checked out Deadpool Wolverine trailer, you guys can go check it out now. Plug. Uh, I think in the scene where you find Wolverine at the bar is where, of course, we're going to get our Wolverine. It's kind of how he starts. It's like his home base, a, a bar, sad and depressed. Yeah. And I think, yeah. And I think whenever we, when he gets to the TVA, something, they're going to give him a suit of some sort. Like, yeah. Deadpool. Or like Deadpool, like has like suit with him, like, you know, and he's just like waiting until he can find Wolverine so he can have him be put on. I don't know what. Or maybe he does like a weekend at Bernie things and just dresses himself. Oh yeah, he's you like know, slumped like, over. You know what would happen is that in that bar fight, like he could have just knocked him out and just yeah. like you know put on the suit, and then he can have like a little gag of it's like you know, am I wearing new underwear? Or it's yeah. like something. Like- yeah, he's gonna probably do something, and and I I do hope in 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 the back of my mind, I've also been I've been watching a lot of niche Deadpool things, so I've been rewatching the gameplay of the Deadpool video game. Do you remember that with Nathan? Uh, I dude, I pre-ordered that game and I finished it in a day. What was his name? <laughs> Did you really? Uh, Nolan North. Nolan North, thank you. I always said I almost said Nathan Lane. That's not Nathan Lane. It's Nolan North. Nathan Lane is a very different individual. Both great. Uh, but na- with a, uh, I almost did it again. Nolan Nolan North. Good lord. His Deadpool is perfect. I love it. Oh. I love how he does the different voices in his head. It's perfect. If Insomniac ever were to do a Deadpool video game, they would not only kill it but nolan north would be a perfect voice you you yeah. want to keep that voice because it's so good even it's iconic his, even in his appearance in uh, midnight suns like he, they brought him back and he i was, was gonna say midnight suns they brought him back for midnight suns and so i think it'd be fun if one of the variants in the void was nathan uh nolan oh. north i did it again nolan north as deadpool and you get to see the text bubbles too like the one of talking really high pitched and the one that's a little deep voiced i think that'd be great yeah, yeah, that's back when uh, he was really schizophrenic. That was yep. uh, during that was during uh, the Daniel Way run of uh, Deadpool, which uh, I I still love a lot. Where it's just like the voices in his head, and each one of them are just like not only like like, like a well articulated but still dirty and just outright cruel, which is kind of like you and me right now. <laughs> um, I'm only on good behavior at the moment, but dude, I am very 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 excited for Deadpool and Wolverine it's mm. gonna be it's good there's no way it's not gonna be a good movie and there's just no looking way. at the trailer like the action is on point yeah and I just saw Karen made a face let's 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 get so I think this movie has to be mm. <laughs> if he is bad it's over <laughs> like if this going movie is bad the life. MCU is screwed forever it's really hard to mess this to up. Get their, it's never going, they're never going to get their goodwill back if that movie is bad. That's going to be really hard to mess up because, I mean, the Deadpool trailer, which was the first teaser trailer, this one was very heavy, heavily Wolverine um, like based. And I know this is going to not be just a Deadpool movie. It's going to be like a very buddy cop, multiversal thing. Yeah. And I'm excited for it. They came out and said that this isn't a true Deadpool 3. This is a Wolverine movie as much as it is a Deadpool movie. And that's what gets me excited because I love Wolverine and I am very glad we're seeing much, much more into just different versions of Wolverine. Cam, we were talking about like kind of like the cowl and everything in that. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking that it's going to be like a weekend at Bernie's thing when he knocks him out or Colin said knock him out at the bar and he dresses him up in the yellow suit. <laughs> 
But yeah, I don't you know if you've it. also heard the leaked uh, stuff that some guy posted out after CinemaCon saying that, like, in this car scene where they're driving, like, you know, they have that fight in the car. There's that brief moment when he's in the car, he shows him the God, photo. nanotech? No. It's just that okay. Deadpool has, like, a line where it's like, like, how is the X, how is any one of the X-Men your friends? And they let you look like they're, that you're playing linebackers for the LA Rams, which I thought was so funny. <laughs> that is fun. That is it's a good so line. funny. But then that thing's like, well, then he's never seen the suit before. So I don't think he's going to get him dressed up. But either way, I just want, I want a good, yeah. I want a good movie. Cause you said it in our Invincible episode, they have to have five good movies in order for them. They, to be they have to, they, they are on two strikes. Like they cannot miss again. I'm curious what are the two strikes for you? Yeah. I no, I just meant like culturally. Like it oh. feels like Marvel has lost the public interest that they once had. I agree. I think the public interest is is gone to a degree and I don't like that. I love the Marvel movies. I've always I'm still excited for every Marvel movie even if it sucks. I'm excited cuz I just like these yeah. characters. I just like movies, man. I like yeah. to talk. <laughs> yeah, that's why I started this podcast because no one else but... would listen to me. So I was like, let's just, uh-huh. in- let's just get the internet on my side here. Yeah, I, I, I truly believe this is going to be a good movie. Um, no also, uh, real quickly, how do you guys feel about that Wolverine not being Logan? Logan from the movie. But, but I love it. Okay, cool. I'm I just making it. sure because I wanted to clarify because a a, a couple. Uh, a couple of calls ago like we were talking i was like he's probably gonna pick him up during the logan timeline but i think they came out uh, i don't know where i heard it from or it was a video breakdown but this isn't this isn't the logan from any timeline of the x-men movies this is like but an own his own variant and which also is kind of cool because when, when you see all those graves they're really adapting the old man logan mm-hmm. so like prob like you know they're probably not going to say it was Mysterio due to like legal reasons with Sony, but like you know, it could be uh, Cassandra Nova. Um, she could be the one that like manipulated Logan's mind and killed the X Men. Yeah, I think we talked about that the other day. That it, it's something that has to do with Cassandra and, and Logan. <laughs> she is the, she is the big villain. Also, the the Xavier family tree is quite new to some people. I've been noticing yeah. people online not noticing or not realizing that Professor X had a sister, first off, that uppercut in the womb, by the way, which is, I think, yeah, so yeah. funny. It was a uh, mental battle in the womb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen a bigger brain, of ba- a battle of brains than that. And then he, they have a stepbrother who is the juggernaut, who I just oh. found out, I didn't know he was gay, which that was new. Good for him. Yeah. Sort of like he recently came out, but he still banged She-Hulk. That is true. But again, didn't know no. about that, so that's it. If I were gay and I was in the opportunity, I mean, why wouldn't I, you know? Yeah, just smash. For science. For science. God, just smash. Thank you, Colin. And then, of course, Legion being Professor X's son. Did you guys ever watch the show, Legion? Yes. I love yes. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's a show. I have yet to watch it. I want to watch yeah, it. Gotta watch it, dude. Literally you... any character from Legion shows up in Deadpool and Wolverine, I lose my <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be kind of cool. And I, I do hope... Um... Oh, but it's Colin, too I think... weird too weird for them to i think we i think you and i call and talked about this off of off camera that you were wanting captain uh, captain america to come back right no no i was just using cap as an example um no i mean it would be cool i mean and it ryan ryan could get away with it just because you know like his big thing of like working in the industry is making friends and making yeah. connections you know that's how he got brad pitt to cameo that's how he got uh, Chris to cameo and free guy just because they were in the same like you know and they found like a creative way of being able for him to like come into the movie which yeah. is cool yeah, I, it's I great. That, you know having uh, a few other like MCU main like cameos would help integrate from like you know we're celebrating the Fox but saying a goodbye and mm. address the future to come with uh you know it would just make sense for there to be like you know, you know a couple of MCU cameos other than yeah. just like old footage from a screen and if that's the case i'm happy with but it would be cool to like you know like what you talked about of like having maestro hulk or world breaker hulk um because they are doing a whole cameo of the hulk and wolverine fight yeah 
Um, uh, people were theorizing that it was Stanley's Hulk. Stanley, remember when he uh, oh. in the Incredible Hulk, like he drank. Fruit no, blood. come on. The dead. The only moment we get a Hulk versus Wolverine. I, I want to see Edward Norton's Hulk, man. <laughs> uh, he probably wouldn't do that. Knowing Edward Norton as like an actor, he well, not just get just well. I'm sure they got like the the, the file of the CGI or the, put some dude I, in mocap. I think we're just gonna get the uh, literally every single person who's ever been in an X Men movie. Oh <laughs> well, no, they did say they referencing Hulk and Wolverine. They did say that. I I mean I'm talking about like if you look in the shot of yeah. Ant Man's helmet being opened at on the bottom are just like all supporting cast from different yeah. X Men. Like mm-hmm. Azazel's there. I, Toad. Toad's there. The, the Russian from The Punisher. Lady Deathstrike. I, I did see, yeah. Like, there's just a bunch. Like, I can smell the the new rock stars, the uh, red arrows, <laughs> red circles. Like already, like people are going to be scrubbing through this thing. Like Pyro was in the first trailer. Yeah. Like. God, I love this part. If they are in it, who isn't? You know, like I hope Kevin Bacon yeah. comes back. Oh no, who isn't is that guy who played Juggernaut? Uh, Juggernaut. Oh, oh yeah, he's the. Uh, what a horrible loss. Um, movie. <laughs> like I think, I think we're gonna get like the OG crew. I feel like. Storm, Cyclops, Gene. It would be great to see um, Halle Berry come back. Those those guys. Um, also, I think I remember around the time they were filming. Oh, they're also in reshoots right now. Impossible. But like when they were filming it, like the first time, uh, <laughs> I remember seeing uh, somebody be like, just ran into Halle Berry in Atlanta. Oh. And <laughs> You think that guy's gonna do it then, or he's gonna? I, go the, I mean, I think that meant like she was oh. in Atlanta filming something. Oh, 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 oh. sorry. I think you're talking about the very Marvel first studio movie. infamously shoots everything in Atlanta. Yes. Okay. Marvel Studio. Yes, that's very true. Yeah. I think anyone going but, to Atlanta, that's a it's a big star. You, you kind of get a little like, oh, oh, they're working on something big. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's cool to hear that uh, Storm's gonna be coming back. That would be great. I like that Halle Berry. Would be cool. I, and, I I truly think everybody's gonna be back. Yeah, and and the the girl that played Jean has has said she hasn't had a call. Well, of course they say that. Yeah, I know. I don't. Know. Andrew Garfield was saying he wasn't his partner, so I don't know. Wait, wait, yeah. Jean? Because I thought she said that. Uh, I thought Not she Sophie was Turner. Uh, Famke Jensen. Yes. Yeah. I thought she was coy with it. I thought there was a quote that was like, uh, who knows? Yeah, I think she was being coy, but that, but I don't know. It's like, I just don't want to get my hopes up. I would love to see her come back as Phoenix, like real Phoenix. That would be cool. That'd be that real would... cool. You know, and uh, then uh, I also texted Colin this that his only reply was, yo, you're throwing a lot at me. I'll get back to you. And I'm yeah. very sorry. Because. Well, I like earlier I was on a call you were like hey what are your plans I'm like hey I'm gonna be hanging out with my girlfriend yeah. and we're gonna have like a big day together and then you yeah. text me all this stuff I'm like dude I I, I, sorry. Can't even, I can't even like respond to this I know I'm very sorry but I was in class and I kept and on just... calling you back and then you when I called you back you were like hey so uh what's up and I'm like what do you mean what's up <laughs> you called me I forgot but the, I was sitting I was either sitting at home or I was in class so I remember where I was but I just was I don't know why I was like Wolverine can't get well. He can't die by getting shot in the head. How has he died three different times by being shot in the head? And those times he didn't die. If you're talking about the X Men movies, like the main X Men movies, like X Two, they they nerf like because in X Two, like they kind of nerfed him a little bit. Where like if he got shot in the head, it's like uh, the bullet didn't go through the adamantium, but it just like knocked him out. It's like if you got a concussion, like somebody oh, punched okay. Him. Okay, and then okay, because so I was thinking like, there's no way it's it, it's there's no way they're just doing that because the only way he's ever been shot in the actual head is through those adamantium bullets. I think I just got a headline: the end of Sony Spider-Man universe. Is that like like a news article? It's from a YouTube video of like <laughs> bad bad news for the spunk. Okay, we'll get into that in a different day. Uh, spunk, uh, Cameron, you also been rewatching because I know the new one's coming out soon, the Planet of the Apes movies. Yes, good movies. I like them. 
That's it. Uh, all right, next topic. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think they're very good. They're um, really great. Colin, I think... have you ever watch them? You, you, this Colin, yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I they're good movies. I think the first one is pretty okay, but after that, they're pretty great. I mm-hmm. think Dawn is one of the best uh, blockbusters of the last decade. Wow. Um, yeah, easily. Mm-hmm. Um, it was great I, seeing Steve Zahn become an uh, ape. That was fun. I love Steve Zahn. Steve Zahn is very cool and should be in more things. Honest, yes. My, if, do you have a favorite Steve Zahn movie? I mean, I'm always going to be partial to him as Greg, Greg Heffley, man. Like, genuinely, those performances that he gives as Greg Heffley are really good. Was that his dad's Even name, though, Greg? Yeah. From the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I didn't know his name was dead. His, his dad's name was Greg. But, um, he he's like he's a incredibly talented comedic actor mm. and then in war is also like still while still funny also has this like devastating uh like innocence to him yeah. um uh i'm going to go with that thing you do that's a great movie i have not seen that I, that's I, a I, family favorite of mine tom hanks wrote i believe directed it as well it's really great they shot it not too far when I used to live in California. So it's kind of cool oh. being in that area. But yeah, those movies are great. Andy Serkis does a super great. good job. I am I'm interested in the new one. I hope it's not bad. But at good. the end of the day, it's so far removed from the timeline, from the C- Caesar trilogy, that yeah. I, uh, I don't think it will be able to ruin it. Yeah. It's um, hundreds of years afterwards. And I know the main bad guy follows the word oh follow yeah, the words like, they're, of caesar. They're, like they turned caesar into like a religion or yeah. like a messiah figure mm-hmm. and there's like a radicalized group yeah it, it, it's interesting i'm always i'm, I'm always I'm like one of my favorite things in history is how um the bible has changed oh. and uh been adapted throughout the years and how those words and like religion can be like changed in some ways corrupted i'd love to see them talk about that because they did that the hand thing in the in the uh the apes together strong and they have the little window icon as like yeah the they're like crucifix essentially yeah yeah, that's 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 their holy symbol i think that's a really cool approach because i interesting idea and i I can't wait to see what they do it because like i know these these movies are not original and ultimately is going to be leading up to the 68 movie where the yeah. statue of liberty is in the sand and i think that's a great way to do it that is the best way i think to do the prequel By the way, series william h macy is in that movie and no one knows it no i caught it okay so here's the thing i they, caught it you should like be pushing that more william h macy is a great character actor so i didn't she know was until, the big deal they should until two weeks that. ago i didn't know realize that he was in there and he, william h is the guy is the bad guy from real steel wasn't he the guy that beat up hugh jackman uh, uh, he was, he was the cowboy guy. Yeah, what? he yeah he he roughed him up pretty bad. Yeah, yeah he was like, "I'll get my money." <laughs> Us Texas folk, no. thank you. And well, you know, but I, I didn't realize he was the bad guy, and then I started hearing it because I I saw his face, and all I did now is hear his name every 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 time he goes, uh, "What a wonderful day!" That's exactly when I hear it. That's not him though. What? Hold on. William H. Macy is in the movie as like a human. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. No, that's not the bad guy from Real Steel. No, that that's uh that's the Gallagher guy. Yeah. Like so many things. Like Oh, I'm thinking I, of Kevin Durand. Oh, he was an Abigail. I saw yeah. Abigail. Um Colin, did you uh, it? it was it was fun. Abigail was fun. Did you what you watched Kevin? I don't know. I like it. Yeah. It's uh, the ballerina vampire movie. It's fun. It's yeah. a good time. It's one of the guys that uh, did the new screams and uh, True Ready or Not. They're there, but Ready or Not. Yeah, that was a good one. Ready or Not was great. I think they're making Ready a or Not is so good. Aren't they making a sequel? There's. They said that. By the I way, if the sequel is not coming, if the sequel is not called Here I Come. No, they're gonna follow the the Now You See Me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god, yes, they're making nice CME3. I yeah. totally forgot about that one. Yeah, but like I hope if they call it ready or not too, we get another like 12 minute Dan Harmon rant. I love that rant. Talk about the oh, it now you don't. What do you follow that up with? And they in a normal world. <laughs> yeah. Uh Colin, you also want to talk way, about speaking the, of uh oh. Isla uh Isla Isla Fisher is coming Isla. back. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know why also, she left the segment. Uh, also she broke up with uh Sasha Baron Cohen. I know. I'm very sad about it. I'm going to shoot my shot. It's more than a Hail Mary. It's a, it's a layup. <laughs> it is longer than a long shot. Uh, hey, 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 is, 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 I don't even know how to say her name. Uh, <laughs> You're going to um, riz her up and you don't even know her, her name. Horrible misfortune. You end up listening to this podcast. I've been in love with you since I was 14. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, I am a 22 year old bartender in the middle of Missouri. Um, I uh, on my bar, you get free drinks for life. Got this. I I uh, <laughs> yeah, I do out. free drinks. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I got I got a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy merch. <laughs> um, I got Childish Gambino on vinyl. I do, I do have Childish Gambino on vinyl. You heard his um, album? His new album's coming out soon. Um, I know. I'm very the excited. The last one. <laughs> What? Um, Colin, what'd you say? Uh, so hit me up, Miss Miss Fisher. Um, uh, uh, God, I don't even know what to right, do anymore. I was gonna on. go. To, I was gonna do the the freaking Facebook to the Social Network sequel. Oh uh, no, uh, friend, well, that will be terrible. <laughs> I don't know because like, I if you get David Fincher back and you get Aaron Sorkin, uh, I. Or, like the writing is still going to be good because there's yeah. a lot of stuff that happened after they made Facebook. A lot. Well, it's going to be about it's not social network too. It's a he said it's a quasi sequel and it's yeah. about January sixth. Like all the stuff that well, it was about Facebook that led to January sixth. Yeah, I'm 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 uh, I see the angle he's taking. I yeah. still think it's a bad idea. It will definitely not be receiving well. But I have no, no doubt, definitely. like Colin said, it's going to be a well-written movie. Yeah, like I don't know, like because like with 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 talent like Aaron Sorkin, yeah, I, you you still want to see why, you know, like yeah. it, it sounds on like out loud, like on a headline, it sounds pretty bad, but like also I feel like you have to read the script and go like, okay, this is okay, this this makes more sense. This is where you were trying to go because I'm sure I I to your to your credit, I, it does sound like unnecessary, but I just want to see like why he chose to do this. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I think he will have to write truly one of the best scripts of his life for that to be good. He's, I mean, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to do a lot. I don't know. Um, it's it's definitely a lot to juggle, and I don't think it's gonna be an easy task. No, but I like Colin. Am very curious to see because. Whatever, whatever was from whomever and what, it's still a pretty wild day. Just in normal life, it's like something you you see out of A twenty four's Civil War. I was like, I was at speaking work. I did that was that. Was Like that? I didn't know. It. I Call said, it. speaking of oh, Cameron, I saw Civil War. It was fun. Okay, Colin. <laughs> I was at work when that shit happened. Like yeah. that was that was like because it was it was weird. It was like it, it was it felt like a fever. Like I thought I was watching like found footage of a movie that yeah. like it just and, and you have to be very like you got to be very careful with like you know like with something like that. Um, yeah, because it's still but, like wild. It's still it's also still fresh. Yeah, it's not you that know? far. Like, yeah, it's not that far away, but uh, Civil War, speaking of that, the of crazy shit that's happening in the country, how I heard the ending was pretty shit. How was it? So that movie is so uh, the posters I'm not really happy about, too. And you guys hear about the AI posters? Oh, yeah, that's stupid. Um, uh, so Civil War is a movie that has some really good scenes in it, some really good high tension moments. <laughs> The problem is it's not about anything. It has nothing to say. 
it's um completely hollow the characters aren't really anything it it tries to be this grand statement about journalism um but it has no idea what journalism is um it like so for context my parents are journalists they've been working in uh tv news for as long as i've been um uh my dad is a professor at uh university of missouri he teaches uh tv journalism um and like uh i went and saw this movie with them because i knew they would have an interesting take on it um and they just were like it's comical no journal no journalist is like this nothing that they do is what actual journalists do um it is very clearly what a writer or director thinks that journalism is um and then it's so aggressively apolitical where it's like i heard a lot of the movie wasn't answered like why the civil war was happening and so they, yeah, they never out- do that they never so they do outside they research and and they're just like it was wild like like calling well, well, yeah, like Colin's argument about the Batman movies, this one was like he had to do outside research, and apparently the Nick Offerman president ran for a third term, so people were Yeah, they, they, that. they dropped that in, but no, like, actual, like, reason. Reason. It's, okay. it's like, silly. Um, Looks but good, like, But, like, it's pretty, it's well acted. Again, it has some really good scenes in it. The Jesse Plemons scene is really good. I like him. He's good. But, like, I'm never going to watch that movie again. Um, yeah, that's a lot of the director's movies. Like his uh, his most recent one was Men, and I really did not like it. Like I just felt weird about it. Like because I th- there is there is an audience for movies like that where it's like you know like they just the the director or writer just outright it's like yeah I don't know the answer and neither will you. You just it's up for interpretation or like you know you don't really know anything that's happening. It's just like you know nonsense after nonsense it's cool that there's like a lot of cool scenes but hearing about that movie i'm like i could already tell i'm not gonna like it you see yeah. i didn't know <clears throat> that alex garland did uh ex machina and annihilation yeah, yeah. Great so did, uh, he also good... did uh, gran turismo no no that's neil blomkamp neil blomkamp i thought i saw he that did... on imdb no neil blomkamp he did district nine and elysium Ah, uh, I don't like Elysium. Sim- similar kind of like these guys are the future of sci-fi kind of director. Yeah, because I know yeah. he did also. Alex did Twenty Eight Days and Weeks Later. Was he also one? did Dread. I never did watch that. The twenty twelve one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which you should. You would love it. Um, <laughs> really? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, one of the best like modern action flicks it's just all killer filler stuff You're talking about judge dread yeah yeah the 2012 yeah, yeah. one with uh carl okay. urban i'm just making uh, sure it was another movie, wrote that movie and then uh kind of stealthily directed it um apparently uh the credited director i don't know something went, went wrong but uh what movie it, it's it's kind of like an open secret that uh Alex Garland directed Dread. Oh. Well, I'll probably get around to it. I liked this. I, growing up, I liked the Stallone one. I thought that was kind of cool. What? I was I was uh, young and stupid. I liked the one when I said growing up. So, hey, I, but... Fair enough. You know, leave me, hey, I also like other movies you hate, too. I'll watch Scott Pilgrim a 12th time, Cameron. I'll do what I, I don't want. hate Scott Pilgrim. No, no, I'm just saying. I'll do what I want. Right. Fair point. Yeah, I know. Live uh, your life. But, Thank you. Bigger topic for this episode, as you guys can tell, the title of the episode is Infinity, the Disney Story. So we've been putting a lot of effort into this. I'm so excited for this. So uh, tug on those yellow safety straps. We're going. I didn't like that. I'm so sorry. That was really stupid. I'm pulling on the yellow tab right now. (laughs) Thank you you so much for going with the bit, guys. If no one did anything, I may have quit the podcast. I would have walked (laughs) out. I would have have kissed traffic. You're doing great, bud. Thanks, Colin. 
So Disney Infinity, as we all know, since we kind of grew up with this game, is a game that's very similar to like what Khan's probably going to mention a few times here, Skylanders. Skylanders was this game where you buy these individual figures or the game bundle that gives you three to start with, and you play as these characters, level them up, and explore different parts of this universe. But with Disney Infinity, it was all with Disney IP characters. The IPs, of course, were like Pixar, Disney characters, Star Wars, Marvel, and Kid. I didn't know about this until just when I was doing this. The Muppets were going to be included in the fourth edition. I knew Cameron yeah. was not going to... The fourth? Why no, didn't so... they start it off at the second? Well, so we're going to get into all... <laughs> That's kind of like... like Star Wars or Marvel is kind of like your last bundle. It's like, here, we're going big or going home. I know. But the Muppets... Cameron's crying in the corner. We could have had it all, man. I like how he's green. He looks like he does look like Kermit working at a bar. <laughs> it ain't easy being. He just gets up. We could have had it all, man. Like right the pain. Oh my God. <laughs> I miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry. Uh, so we're going to be included, but then when the game got canceled, they scrapped all the rest of the ideas. Yuri Lowenthal, who we've known recently as our Spider Man, who we have seen him be bunch of other characters he was the the toy box narrator so when you get to play and build your own thing he was the one that was guiding you around kind of showing you off the place i thought it was kind of cool i believe he was the voice for all three and i didn't know that brad bird the director at pixar and an amazing movie so we did an episode about him you guys can go check it out now uh he was part of the writing team uh for all three games of of the disney infinity games that's why they're so good you're so good. And, of course, he also voiced Edna Mode and various other characters that he voiced himself. So I thought that was kind of cool that he came back. Right on. Uh, what was it? I said right on. Yeah, absolutely. There's no one better. Uh, personally, my favorite bundle, just everything in this game, was the Guardians of the Galaxy bundle set where it had the Milano and you start off with Drax, Gamora, and Star-Lord. Did you guys have a favorite or was it just this little uh, I, I remember for- really loved monsters university from the yeah i remember loving uh going around and like vandalizing the other campus doing those bike tricks yeah like i just remember having a lot of fun with that one i remember because you get to also then you like build the park was it you could like add i don't i don't remember this was like a decade ago (laughs) (laughs) there was customization options yeah because I remember building like a prank school when, with Monster University where there's like this telephone booth when you walk by it smacks you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, yeah. I remember having two of them back and forth. So whenever you, you hit by one, the other one catches you and you are in an endless loop of smacked. It was perfect. <laughs> and there's no the way Lone to get out Ranger. Of it. The Lone Ranger one, that was fun. So, the Lone Ranger, the, if you watched our David Fincher episode, we briefly mentioned the Lone Ranger thing because we were talking about Army Hammer and Cameron mentioned it. That's where this whole idea sparked. Pretty, pretty, pretty fun movie, honestly. <laughs> you watch. I haven't seen it since I watched it on Redbox on a little laptop. I haven't seen it. In, I just in think ages. Gore Verbinski is neat, and he should make a block. Actually, he is. He is making another movie, and I'm so excited. Um, anyway, that's one strange horse. Yeah, no. I didn't like Johnny Depp as as. Oh uh, yeah, Johnny Depp's terrible in it, but. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like the. Him. Well, like I mean, him. we all like Johnny Depp. It's just. He, they probably could have casted someone not white for that role. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This I can me. see the problematicness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I don't know if you guys remember the bunch of other characters. There were like Perry the Platypus, Cameron's favorite, Finn McMissile from Cars 2 with Francesco Brunulli. Love him. Because I, I remember I, when you went I, to. I, I did end up owning them. So, yeah. You did? And you probably oh. even bought the bed you slept in when you went to that. that, that... <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. perfect. Uh, it's just a bunch of different great characters I think were that were iconic to not just Pixar and, and Disney, but as they expanded from from 1.0, having the original three be Mike and no Mike, Jack Sparrow and uh, Mister Incredible because they were also the, they were the Incredibles packets because each different person had their own like their own world. So you like put the thing down and uh, you get to go to their different world and do their they're they're i don't know i'm trying to find like the words like it was like a it was like an open world but there were missions involved and at the same time you yeah no done just your own thing. their their universe just you yeah, know like their, universe, their, own, their own their own little like slice of the pie and i did like though that when you put that thing down you get sent to their world the 
environment reacts entirely. Yeah. Like yeah. everything goes to this white screen and then it starts building out. I remember sometimes it taking forever to load, but I also then, I don't know if you got the, the extra discs, you like buy the, the secret packs. And you yeah, of adding and you skins and costumes and decoration. Yes. I had the Jack Skellington sort of like uh, texture pack. Yes, the ho the 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 hollow is a Halloween the Halloween Town. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You get to hear the background. It's that's that's playing. It this is Halloween. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Cool. I, I don't know how I got this. It must have been a lucky find or something. When Iron Fist was a character, I had the puck that turned him into the white and gold suit. Yo, missed opportunity. <laughs> so good as just a, a look. Love Iron Curious. Fist. If like we can still like buy like the Disney Infinity on PC, because like this 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 uh this episode is like motivating me to buy a PC as soon as yeah, I because I know you want to play, and I didn't know about this until we before we started recording that if you buy PC, you could get the characters digitally, and you can store them digitally, and you can swap. Them uh, uh, yeah, right? uh, just let like you know, let me just confirm before we say that to everybody. Well, that's what you were. That's what you were told. That's we don't know I, if it's confirmed or not. It's just something that's interesting. The fact that if you have a PC, the you can still buy the characters in a in a different way than than how normally it's bought because you had to go into the you had to go in the stores. You had to see if okay. yours was available just to even get it. So on Steam, it shows that you can buy Disney Infinity. Uh, oh. Um, Gold edition, which I'm assuming uh, play experience with all the Disney Infinity 1.0 characters and play sets unlocked and ready for you to mix, match, and mash up to invent. Okay, yeah, so you can. Uh, I don't know about the uh, little discs or textures. I'm, I'm assuming that's a part of the gold, but um, I don't know about yeah, that. no, it's still available. You would buy it for like 30 bucks for all of those characters, that's which cheaper than uh, the game. 30 bucks, like that would have just gotten you like one of those little packs with like the uh, world and two characters. So uh, yeah, they were not cheap. They were not cheap. But my God, God am I going to go into credit card debt? Probably. Uh, and I, I just, it's so good. I miss the game a lot. Uh, the first one started out August 18th of 2013. That was 1.0. We were just middle little, school, middle school. And then cool. uh, September 18th, 2014, 2.0 was released. August 28th. I Tell me where you were when that trailer dropped, dropped and you saw Captain America's shield hitting from building to building, the building to them, they were caught. Yeah. I shot my pants. Cool. I shot I, my I, 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 I wanted, I, 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 I was still in middle school, but I felt like I was. Yeah. I, oh, the first time I get out the video. Take that oh, out. I'm, I'm definitely not having that full sense be said. Oh. Yeah, uh, I was going to say I went like, feral. No, I was gone. No, no, Sometimes I was there's a sentence in your head, and then you say it out loud, and you're like, what the hell? That's not what it was. <laughs> I am not. I'm not forever. in prison for that one. I mean, whatever. We were all weird in middle I, school. I get it. August 28th ended with 3.0 2015 with the star wars pack with 4.0 rumored but never actually officially releasing so the different versions was 1.0 originally starting with the pirates franchise monster university the incredibles cars like colin said the lone ranger and toy stories because i mean having the little buzz layer figure was really good i loved that but i mainly remember having um may the like incredibles characters i think i had all but Jack Jack. I think I uh, way too many. Jack Jack wasn't a character. There was no, uh, there was Mr. Incredible. There was uh, Mrs. Incredible, Violet, Dash, Dash, and Syndrome. Yes, you're right. Okay, thank you. All and right. Then, here, oh. here are all of the uh, the play sets that were in the first one. Hmm. Incredibles, Pirates and Monsters uh, University, which came yeah. with the starter bundle. Yeah, that was all three. It was Cars. Lone Ranger, Toy Story. Okay, that is it. Yeah. I thought they were. No, no, I got them all. Cameron, I don't think you understand. I got them all right here. I I'm... forgot that Toy Story had its own place. It did. It had Jesse, Bullseye, Woody, Buzz. I don't know why. When I was a kid, I felt like there were more. Well, when yeah, yeah. well, because then what? Because this is the thing. In 1.0, there was a, a certain number of characters. A poster. It was they the, the poster. poster that, they had the poster with all the characters. So yes. I, I thought we were gonna play as all of them. I, I agree, because when you get the game box, you open it, you take all the stuff, and there was that poster in the back, good, good catch, Con, which then, as then the, the things progressed, it got even bigger, 
because then 2.0 had the Avengers, Spider-Man, and I'm not going to say the actual title, I don't remember what it is, but Spider-Man and Friends, where it had Venom, Nova, Power Man, uh, uh, Iron Fist. Uh, okay, this is a thumbnail, by the way. That is definitely the thumbnail. Uh, and then we have the Guardians of the Galaxy. So pretty much it was just the Marvel superheroes one, because it had everything, including the villains, like Green Goblin, Venom, Loki, Ronin, Ultron, and even Vision, which that, was like, great. Ultron was a... Was he? He was a figure. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he came very later in the game when they started doing like the gold edition. Because I also remember them being having those like clear see through characters. Do you remember those? Oh, those variants? Yes, the secret variants. Oh, there was also like uh, there was a black suit Spider Man for the 3DS version. But I don't know if it if it's playable for like the 360 or whatever i remember it being playable i remember having someone say they had that i remember seeing it like i remember someone brought it to school yeah it was dude. crazy and then the third one was star wars twilight of the republic rise against the empire and force awakens inside out finding dory and then this new one marvel battlegrounds which was an extension of the marvel superheroes thing what you done we need to go to disney we need to tell them to bring this back dude i know well here's the thing I want you guys to just give me a guess on how many total characters you think there were. 40. Okay. Uh, 50, 80. 60. Sorry, 60? What was your camera? 80. Wrong. 120 total characters. Woo! That's a lot. Yeah, they were all like $12. Yeah, so there were 103 total individual characters with 17 variations of specific characters like Black Suit, Spider-Man, or crystal versions of the characters like Perry the Platypus, Lightning McQueen, stuff like that. There was 120 of these guys, and we were, and us during, I don't know, everything was supposed to pay for all these things. I think there was a Christmas one year. I just was getting the figures. That's yeah, because Skylanders was still pretty big, and there was like those YouTube channels as well that like kept the hype going with the Skylanders. And uh, you know, uh, Disney, like they were Disney Infinity was still doing well, but I think around the time the uh, three three version was coming out lego was getting into the market and did lego dimensions which yeah, it was kind of oversaturated at that point there were too many there was three yeah, and then different it crashed games. oh no there was four because then they had amiibo from nintendo amiibo, amiibo was earlier uh during like the amiibo has yeah. kind of come out on top after all these years Nintendo's what happened? Really. it's kind of weird that amiibo kind of won in the end like yeah. they've lasted the longest Skylanders oh. is done. Lego Dimensions is done. When you got the yeah. money, yeah, they're still making new amiibos. <laughs> like, are they really? Of course, yeah. They make them for every like major game. Wow, I thought they were yeah. done. I never bought one. Not that I just, I just never cared. It was more, I, more of a. I bought a Mario one for Smash because mm. I was the amiibo interested. one. Those are like the uh, little cards that like you have the little DS and then uh, you uh, have the camera and then the little character comes up on no, the screen. No, that is something different. Colin, your memory astounds me each and more because you unlock a new chapter in my life. Thank you for that. No, Amiibo was like the Skylanders of Nintendo where it was like Samus and, and Mario and Yoshi and there were like actual figures and it was like around when the Wii U was out and you put them on like one little corner, it scans it and then it puts the figure into the game. Yeah, it, it unlocks some sort of content. In yeah, but my God, yeah. Colin, the the DS card thing, I remember that. You're making me feel old. I don't like it. Why are I'm you scaring me? Man. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like feeling old. I just want to get through Disney Infinity. Please. I'm like, okay. <laughs> So anyway, yes, Disney. Infinity. It was great. It was great. So there's three main bundles with each new version of the games released, with three main characters for each release, where each release, and also with the expansion packs for each new movies being with the bundle. So there was the Lone Ranger, Guardians, Cars 2, and even Tron. Do you remember anything of the Tron one? I remember. I I I, I knew I knew about Tron's like playset. Yeah. Uh, I don't, but not like. Was it the 3.0 or 2.0 version? Because I, I know it was, was 2.0. I think it was 2.0 oh. because it had Korra and, and uh, Sam. I do, though, however, we were talking about the mystery oh. bundle packs where you get like the mystery packs and you rip it open, you get the little pucks. I had a Tron environment background thing. That would have looked so cool. You know what I'm talking team? about? I know what you're talking about. Okay. Cameron, did you ever have one of those? One of what? Sorry. I'm just like, I am mad at myself for not getting these characters. They look sick as hell. 
they are great but the the pucks like the things where you could put on the on the bottom of either the world set oh yeah, yeah yeah i had i had a lot of those because remember you used to be able to stack them you used to get like six oh, yeah. in a stack yeah yeah if, that would have been cool that, that if you was guys cool. want me if you guys gave me like two or three minutes i could try and find all my disney infinity <laughs> no no <laughs> just just send like, us in the group chat well i because i think i have, I have one like a in whole the attic. bucket all of them yeah, no, send, us, the... send us a photo because there's a there's a lot we got to get through so well, yeah. well we should get we should i'm sorry we should get cameron to fly all the way down here and then we'll try to like on ebay or somewhere <laughs> hunt down the disney infinity you know how much each all, is we all get drunk and play disney <laughs> we all go into oh, that we'll, we'll that open a amazing. joint account and we'll go into debt together <laughs> is how it yeah. works <laughs> <laughs> We'll be like Bruno Mars in Vegas. We'll be five hundred million dollars in debt just in order to play Perry the Platypus one more time. James just pulls out a bucket of old saving bonds. <laughs> <laughs> Look at like a piggy bank. This should this should cover it, right? That's good. We good here. Yeah. Well, Fuck I yeah. just found a uh, Disney Infinity Sam Flynn figure for like twenty bucks. So twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. That's close to what they actually used to cost. Yeah. That double. A little bit, yeah. So here's the bigger thing of why this stopped. There was a lot that happened in the course of four, four three years of when it was being released. So the final one, Disney Infinity 3.0, released in 2015. It, sorry, it wasn't even that long. It took one year. I'm sorry, I just looked at the notes yeah. again. So there are different pegs of this chair that essentially was the structure that collapsed. So to kick it off, it's... uh. Started with when the cancellation of the game came out, a group of people who worked at Avalanche, which was a, which was the software company that helped develop and worked on the game, they said the game would have in- introduced Disney 4.0, the last one, which was going to be an all Star Wars The Last Jedi package. Because the one that came out first was The Force Awakens. That was the bigger package with Finn and Rey and Kylo. Where's the note? Oh, uh, and it would also have the story that would have brought all the figures together in one giant story. So instead of it being its own thing, they were in 4.0 going to do The Last Jedi and have a set bundle where it was like the super story where all of them were having to go together and and be the final crew. And in 4.0, Cameron, that's when they were going to introduce characters like Jack-Jack, the Omnidrone, the Muppets, sadly, is where... And it was like... And it was literally all of the characters. Like every Muppet... This was going to be their endgame. This was 1000% going to be their end game. And it was insane to see the amount of people they actually had on the list. Like I'm trying to find the Disney infinity 4.0 characters. I had it list. And what other cool. Marvel characters were they going to have? Uh, I, think it was I don't Daredevil. I remember I think... seeing renders of a Daredevil. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... yeah. There was a bunch of like a lot of other characters that they were going to be introducing. I kind of, <gasps> Uh, I know they were going to have Sagar. Oh, they were going to have Professor X-Men. Professor X-Men. Professor X, they were going to have an X-Men set. They were going to have, I think, what? I think they were going to have like a, uh, something else. They were going to have a lot of characters, dude. Dude, I, 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 I don't know why anybody. Oh, 12 inch figures as well. That's what we're going to get into. Maui, that in a second. the Rogue One gang. Maui. Okay. That's right. Maui and Moana. That was, that was also going to be a, a big Beauty one. Beauty Beast. 12 inches, 12 inches of Venom. We're gonna have 12 inches of Venom. We were gonna have like Cars 3, Coco, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Thor Ragnarok, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and like I Rocket said, the connected Strange. story mode where there was gonna be one giant story for all the characters. And so then what could I go into the next uh uh what I go into what I call the next one. Gosh, I did all this preparation. What I oh there was a Doctor Strange That's one. Doctor That's Strange right. one. That looks so good though. It was a pretty good one. What I'm calling the second peg was that they are, they're mostly going to do, like I said, a Rogue One expansion story. And like I said, a 12 inch version of the characters. So having a foot tall Buzz Lightyear Spider Man would have been great. But then the real first downfall was Disney's overproduction of toys and figures. The first Disney Infinity had a toy shortage of its massive popularity skyrocketing. But then as the other two versions of the games were released, Disney wanted to match the predicted numbers as the past versions brought. So. This resulted in overproducing figures. I'm going to give you guys an example. The Hulk figure. Do you remember the big green one? Yep. 
Oh my no, god, dude! What? Wow! Could have had it all, man. You think we would have got had we, a, we, we had it all? We could have had an X Men '97 level of uh, Disney Infinity, just having a little puck go on and be like. Bah, nah, nah, nah. Dude. Ugh, my God. Well, right, it looks so good. I didn't know about that X-Men thing until this morning, but the Hulk figure, the simple green Hulk figure, no no bigger than Venom icon left. No big. I just need to walk this off. I'm yeah, I know. So, uh, C- Cameron, I want you to try and, and, and uh, just give me a number here on how many Hulks were produced alone. Just the Hulk. Because remember, there were... Over 120 characters, probably, for this the entire thing. Yeah, yeah. So Hulk how was many of they, like, they produced. produced? Produced. Give me a number. What? Three mil? Okay. Well, how much? Three mil. Okay. Milli. Colin, how much? I'm going to go with 10 million. So they, they did make 2 million Hulk figures, but only sold half. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna. That's that's don't, a lot. Don't worry. The half price books that I picked that guy up. <laughs> got Hulks. Sure. Well, yeah, they produced two million Hulks and Odoi. So that's part of the big reason why they had the downfall is because they were taking the numbers from the very first game and incorporating it to the other two, trying yeah. to match that. But I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I blame Lego Dimensions. I blame Lego Dimensions for all of this. I think. That was the final one. They I think everyone, that. everyone, it, it, there was this gold rush, and it dried up. It like, did. No, no. It was the. Uh, it, it was. It's basically the same thing as like these like season passes or like battle passes, where it's yeah. like you know, like again, it, it, to like all of these other companies, like credits. It's like okay, this is where the money is right now. Uh, at the time of this, it was like the big toys come to life, like mm. Gold Rush, like what Cameron said, and everybody, everybody wanted their share. You know, it's like hey, we could like get more money if we just sell these uh, these uh, figurines, and you know, we'll, we'll, like we'll like all like parents as well, like they'll be wanting to go out with their kids. You have those YouTube channels where it's like spreading the popularity, especially around to like, you know, the Skylander community as well. Because I remember when I was going through my Skylander kick, uh, it was basically I was following this uh, family channel of Skylander Boy and Girl where they're just hunting the rarest like Skylanders. Like it was huge. It was, it was huge. huge. It was and good. basically like, um, you know, it, it sucks, too, because it feels like, you know, out of all of the out, out of all the competitors, Disney was actually making the content and like they yeah. were they they went all out for their like games and oh, they did it crazy to even see the 4.0 was not only going to be the last we were going to get dr strange and we were going to get the x-men we we're going to get a ton of characters dude and since they overproduced a lot of these different characters this is where the next thing goes into it uh with disney this is, one, sad. This is really sad this is really sad I've been sitting on this for months and I've been waiting for all of us to be available for this because I've been wanting to hear you guys just experience this like the way you I double so. barreled my childhood. <laughs> yeah, I know. So uh, with Disney wanting to keep their trend of uh, with the game, they considered handing over the toy production and responsibilities to Hasbro, which would then result in crossover properties like Transformers to appear in the games. Uh, that would be drinking the shark. That defeats the point. Yeah. What? I don't I don't think that would have been so uh, that- sadly, which is what this website was saying. Sadly, the deal fell through and Disney was unable to hand off the production to another company. Executives decided that Infinity just didn't make much business sense. So they just. It would have just I would have made it happen. <laughs> I would have found a way. <laughs> I, 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 think, though, I think I mean, I'm not going to lie. Having Mr. Incredible and Optimus Prime chill out we kind of cool just in concept like an iron giant kind of like you know yeah. silhouette. <sighs> but it would have like cameron said jumped the shark so i just yeah. i uh i i it just really wouldn't make sense because it's like your last edition it's like check out these other prop like you would be fortnite right then and there yeah because like imagine gi joe in disney infinity gi joe with the guardians gi joe with the guard 
Right. Oh no, the X Men. I was thinking of the guys. He he makes more sense. Did you all see that uh that Transformers trailer? Yeah, looks good. Transformers one looks good. Yeah, I yeah. uh yeah. I'm a little I'm a little iffy on it, but I do like it. I do. I it looks perfect. Bumblebee. It looks amazing. I just I don't know how I feel about all the jokes, and I do I do like that line of like Megatron going like you know when this is all over I'm gonna kill you. I'm like you yeah. you definitely will actually. Oh. Tongue in cheek, yeah. Mm-hmm. But <sighs> this is where the final bit of it is here, boys. This is where the fun ends. Yeah. So the second peg over the success of this uh, was the new Star Wars Battlefront Two game, which is great. I I have played a little bit of it. It's really good. Created it's great. From, yeah. Created from EA's Disney license on Star Wars, Disney was pocketing so much money from that, and with EA developing more Star Wars games, that will likely pull in more big bucks for disney with the conflicted ideas of which thing to grow they stopped with disney infinity and yeah. so on the day of may 11th 20 uh, 2016 which is almost terrible almost 10 years ago this is Avalanche horrible Lynch shut down this this sucks because battlefront didn't do that good to begin with good. That's no, started. like I mean, because like EA as a company as well, like yeah. they 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 really they really they really shit the bed with Battlefront because you you paid sixty bucks for basically an incomplete game and you have to spend fifty more dollars for the season pass to play the maps and yeah. add it on. You know, there's no campaign, so it's just multiplayer, and it's just not really like uh, there was a campaign in Battlefront too. There was a campaign in Battlefront 2. They did course correct that, but in the beginning, though, we were all a little bit like, ugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so just kind of like, it, w- it was a thing that where having to readjust to the fact of the campaign, I never actually officially played the campaign. I never I, I never owned the game. I played it at a place after playing the online like multiplayer. Fine. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool having the Luke Skywalker. Um, it's fine. Is it? I mean, it's nothing to write home about. It's nothing special. Play. It's fine. I I what was that first person squadrons game? The one you could like play as an X Wing or uh Squadrons? Guy? Yes. Oh that's what it was? Yeah. Oh my god, that sounded awesome. The first person Yeah, I, I want to get a VR yes head so I can re-download that and play it in VR because some I think guy, some guy did like a like a sim thing, like you know, like like the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like built like a whole cockpit. Rad as hell, yeah. by the way. I need I need to replay that game. I, I remember money. having. I just need money to you get need this money? stuff. I need money to get this stuff. How much do you need? At least, at least two dollars to get that. Shit, sure, what's your Venmo? <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, I think having Disney Infinity be such a big success, and what's Lego Dimensions come out shortly after Skylanders still being on its fifth game, which was then like yeah. racing, I think. They 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 beat Skylanders to death. <laughs> they. We're so good at it. And I think because Skylanders no, they, was like, if you weren't at the beginning and you didn't see it progress, getting into it is kind of weird. Because everyone knows Disney. And I think having this idea of where it's like, hey, you get to be these characters. You can build your own custom world. You can build a giant racetrack. You can do whatever you want. Toy Box was so much fun. I remember playing as uh, uh, Baymax in his Big Hero 6 suit, flying through the bridges of San Francisco and doing all these yeah. like, different things and i played as hero a lot um, yeah you, so I, I was gonna ask you did you actually ever have a main in in disney i'd thing? say hero was the one i played the most weirdly enough did you have a main con uh for which uh well i only had disney infinity uh 1.0 edition but my main was definitely mr incredible mm. or it was the lone ranger because he also did have that like gun as okay. well that was cool that was like i played star lord a lot i did play star lord i was lot. gonna say star lord or iron man that was my guy yeah, yeah i gosh man i, I wish i had the 2.0 and 3.0 edition i wish we have the 4.0 edition boys like yeah. this is this this sucks, dude. This sucks. I'm I'm sucks. I'm going through the list of all the characters. I think I had every character from Disney Infinity One. Oh, that's kind of. I also cool. remember the Pirates one. I never actually completed the Pirates one. I never got the around to Pirates finishing. one was fun. You actually you 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 used the ship like in Black Flag. Like when I was a kid, I was like, this is just like Black Flag. You go from island to island. 
it was insane. That's pretty cool. Like again, like dude, these games, like Skylanders, had nothing compared to this because you also had that bird's eye view kind of like the first Skylanders. Yeah. The graphics looked kind of pretty bad. The Ooh. second one looked they looked kind of iffy. I was like, eh, I don't like the look of this. It was only until Swap Force where they kind of had a new engine where it had a little bit more of a like, uh, you know, a little flare. Can, it was a little bit more of a flare. But dude, Disney Infinity was the shit. It was the king, dude. It was, it was king. It was king, and it was dethroned. Hmm. It's f- uh, Lego shit. Dimensions by Lego Dimensions is what Disney Infinity with Hasbro would have been. I'm just saying. I haven't played Lego Dimensions. I kind of want to because they make like they made some really interesting franchise choices that was like portal back to the yeah, future. portal was in it like yeah. simpsons had a level like dr yeah Who? yeah i I, I feel like uh well, I feel like anti, uh dimensions just because we were all so heavily uh disney infinity but i feel like dimensions like i like the idea of actually building something and then putting it in the game i think that's a really cool concept yeah, I mean, I like Lego. So if if I was anything, I would have gotten Lego Back to the Future. That's just me. I would mm-hmm. I would have bought it just for the the fact I get to have a Doc Brown and a DeLorean. The, yeah. The thing with Lego Dimensions wasn't that it was a bad game. It was also the biggest reason why I I believe uh, wholeheartedly that it was um, unsuccessful. It's just because of how much more expensive it was. Like you had all of you had all of these packs and added on to that, like again, like Lego, it you know, the entire premise of Lego is just like building and rebuilding. But yeah. like there's so much more time of you just, you know, putting it all together. Yeah. And by the time you probably are too tired to even play. And then like even then, like you have to like they had those like different configurations where like yeah. you could rebuild the like for example, the DeLorean, you could like rebuild it and then have a be have it be a completely different like uh, vehicle yeah but that takes a lot more time a lot more money and there are so many other packs as well to where like lego dimensions they pro they, they shit the bed just because of their price which is so high it was stupid how much they actually would cost i just characters. found the dumbest disney infinity character oh, oh hold on wait a minute we got this is how we're gonna wrap up we let me ha- let me we gotta we gotta oh. guess give us a chance yeah, yeah, uh, James, you go first while I think. Uh, I'm thinking. I mean, oh, you know, what? let me. Let, can we do? Can we do twenty questions? This. Yeah. Okay. Marvel. No. Oh, Pixar. No. Uh, Star Wars. No. So it's Disney. Okay, so what was it? One point oh edition. No. Three point oh. No. Well, hold wait, on. which one? Two point oh or three point oh? No, we both guessed a different number. Oh, uh, no to two point oh. Okay, so it's three. Three point oh. No, Phineas? Star Wars. No, Phineas was 1.0. No, no, no. Phineas wasn't in uh, 1.0. Like, you, was there it? was the Harry the Platypus pack that came out 3.0 edition. Okay. Is it Star Shoot. Wars? No. Oh, did I already guess that? We, we, already, we already asked that. Hey, you Put already guessed. Put it down. We're at six, dude. Uh, uh, Disney Channel? No. What? What the heck was 3.0? Uh oh. Male or female? You said it's not Pixar, right? It's not Pixar, and it's not Disney, and it's not Marvel, it's not Star Wars. No, it, it's it's not. You said Disney Channel. Oh, I I guess Disney. Like it, so whatever. So oh. it's a Disney. It's a Disney. It's a Disney, it's a Disney, Disney character. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're Disney, right. Disney, 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 Disney. It's not Hannah Montana, right? There's no way nope. they have. Not Hannah Montana. What the hell? James, we're at eight questions. Dude, I, dude. we got 12 more. We're not, I don't know if we're going to get through it. Uh, crap. Okay. Okay. Uh, is it a guy or a girl? Uh, is it a guy? It's male or female? That's a good one. It is a guy. Great. Okay. Uh, I got nothing, man. Uh, okay. So, um, and he's oh, not Star cool. Wars and Marvel. Uh, okay. It's um, Disney. Like... Okay. So. Kid or adult? Adult. Is it? No. It's not Doofenshmirtz. Not Doofenshmirtz. I got nothing, man. Yeah, you guys are. I, I'm dead serious. You're not going to get it. Oh no, I'll, I'll definitely. This was a, a playable character that I imagine they sold. <laughs> you got. You got a final guess here. Don't look it up. I'm not looking it up. 
bull. I could see you on your phone right now. No, I'm just checking the time. Oh, okay. What is it, Cameron? It is time from Alice in Wonderland 2. What? I'm the it... Sasha Baron Cohen character from the second Alice in Wonderland. So not only we got an Isla Fisher reference, we also got her ex-husband, Sasha Baron Cohen. Oh, yeah. It's... Wow, that is in... Same. Full circle, dude. What does okay. he do? I don't know. Does like is this like movements just like random punching? <laughs> no idea. Um <laughs> I didn't even know that was a dude. I never saw the second Alice in Wonderland. That was a look. Uh, nobody movie. nobody did. It was yeah. uh it was it did super bad. Critically <laughs> and financially, it was bad. It was not good. Oh ooh. Uh, geez, all right. Well, with that circle back from Isla Fisher, that'll about wrap it up. Season three, episode 14, I believe. The Infinity, the Disney story. Something I've been waiting so long to do. Ugh. I'm so, so happy we got this out of the way. Yes, so. I am too. Uh, still very sad. Mm. And I, dude, I, I, I'm just picturing the X-Men on my, uh, on my couch. Because the they twelve look... inch, the twelve inch version would have one hundred been one hundred percent been a sentinel, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. Well, I mean... Why wouldn't? It? Yeah. How I big they... would that? How big would that like thing be if it's going to be twelve inches? Probably oh. both pucks on the thing, one for each leg. Oh, really? I don't know. It's pretty big, man. It's a foot. Yeah. I know it's a foot. It's just that, like, I don't even know how that would work. I don't know. I guess it just because they would have to like build a brand new portal. But anyway. probably, you know, maybe that's what the case was. Maybe we had to buy a new portal to support the Disney uh, the twelve inch figures. We didn't get the end game, guys. We didn't. We didn't get the end game. No. 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 They canceled Spectacular Spider Man. They canceled Disney Infinity Four Point Edition. Well, they, they went broke Deadpool for Disney Infinity. Series. A yeah, big they, difference. they they went broke and they went at the T of EA and we didn't get a decent Star Wars Battlefront until years after the second one came out where they fixed it. Yeah. And it's funny that they built, not built, they produced 2 million Hulks alone. I can't even imagine the other numbers for like... I mean, there's like I said, go to the half price books, they had plenty of Hulks there. <laughs> it's there's a land landfill there. somewhere that's just covered in Hulks. Hey, why we gotta go spend our money? Let's just go find the landfill. Yeah, exactly. Duh. Oh, they're going to do the E.T. cartridge thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Well, uh, thank you guys again for watching. You guys can go check us out on Instagram, TikTok, and Letterboxd. We're there posting all our fun little reviews. Go check out our Movies We Dislike list. It's just pretty much plain and simple. Tell us how wrong we are with that. Tell, uh, Check it out on yeah, where we are Spotify, Apple Podcasts for all our past episodes. Season three has been a blast so far. We're getting ready for our summer season. That's going to be a fun one. Do as normal. We're going to have some fun guests come back on the podcast. And uh, if you guys want to check us out on Instagram, because TikTok's on the fritz right now, and that's a bigger pressing pressing issue apparently. Thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.